Hey, what is up guys? Jay here from MJ Tech. Today coming with another motorcycle unboxing, assembly, and review. We are talking about the Vitashi Clash 200 in which I got from Texas Power Sports or TX Power Sports. The link has been left down below. This is the burgundy color and uh, this is the latest from Vitashi when it comes to scooters. This one is really cool because it is fast, it goes up to 65 miles an hour. It is fuel injected and it has a pretty cool design. Not everybody out there likes to shift. Some people just want something that is easy to ride, that is fast enough to commute, and that is cost effective. And I think this has pretty much everything, guys. So here, without further ado, let's take this out of the box. It came in a big crate, as you can tell, as always. And hopefully, we have no damages. Uh, keep in mind that these guys, they try to protect as much as they can, but in the end, it's up to the shipping company uh, on how they would treat this for you. So this one, the box looks to be quite intact, and I got this as, uh, as I was in Puerto Rico. Uh, the shipment was accepted by my wife and I was over there doing some uh, errands, helping my mom out with her house and just doing things that we typically uh, do. Uh, so here we have it guys. You can see the Clash 200 EFI logo right there. Let's cut this loose. Again, it seems like it's well packed. Uh, hopefully nothing is damaged on the inside. And it looks like we can just rip this off quite easily and check that out. so far what we get with this scooter the steering wheel came completely loose as you guys can tell I just put it on top after removing all that wrapping material so it looks like we're gonna have to hook this up uh, it has a latch here on the right if you press where it says seat you press it down you can actually hear the latch disengaging here from the seat you lift it up and this is where you find your gas tank you will find I think these are the mirrors you get the battery cover and some tools as well you get the battery itself and we do have something else in here now this is just for the compartment uh, we get this piece in which we're gonna find out exactly what this is for uh, then inside of the crate we had the front uh, fender we get the bracket to install here the rear trunk this is a cowling for the front that goes in like this and of course the front wheel with all the hardware in here so that we can hook it up on the front we had to lift the rear suspension I plan to use my electric hoist to make it a little bit easier so yeah without further ado let's continue guys first things first guys you want to lift the front end so that we can get that tire installed so what I did is that since I have an electric hoist, I attached this strap into the main frame here on the front side of the uh, scooter. And that's how I got it to lift a little bit. Then after this, I removed this nut, which is holding the scooter to this uh, frame, okay? Now that we got it off, we can lift it a little bit more just so that we can get the front tire installed on here and we will do obviously the same for the rear side when you start hooking this up this and this spacer is going to be zip tied here to the suspension cut the zip tie then this is going to be your speedometer sensor and this is a spacer the spacer goes towards the uh, rotor side so now what we do next is attach the speedo 
here to the wheel like so and it has to go completely in so that way you don't run into trouble also if your brakes are not uh, open wide enough you can grab a um, a Phillip, uh, I'm sorry, a flathead screwdriver and get it hooked up on there, guys. It's not that difficult. There we go. Now insert the big bolt that goes through. All right, make sure that, again, your Speedo is aligning properly on the other side. And just take your time. There we go. And that's how you get the front tire installed guys make sure that you roll it make sure that it is spinning freely now you get your nut and put it on the other side now while we have this scooter uh, lifted with my hoist it is a great opportunity to install that front fender you will need these three bolts uh, these are 10 millimeter bolts that came included inside of the uh, box with all of the hardware and you will find them it'll make sense because all three are exactly the same size and they go right underneath here so for this you might want to grab your socket and one goes here the other one goes here and another goes back here for the steering wheel it's actually better if you guys do it while this is hanging if you have a hoist or if you have it lifted up that way you can move the steering a little bit easier so for this part, all you have to do is get this bolt and nut that again comes inside of the uh, hardware kit. And you have to pass it through like this and then put the nut right behind it once you insert it into the uh, pipe here for the steering column. And the way you do it is just placing it on top. And now you run like i said the bolt and the nut through and get it tight it has to be a little bit hard to see that but there's the nut there's the bolt and we got it tightened to the proper specifications all right guys so for the rear suspension you had to place the scooter on the a stand it's super super simple so you grab again the bolt that came included inside of the hardware kit now what you do is you help it a little bit by bringing the suspension down like so now you run the bolt through and you simply screw it in so grab your 10 millimeter socket and then just get it tightened our next step after doing the suspension is to finish the front side by installing this uh, cowling or uh, bearing whatever you guys want to call it uh, windscreen uh, it's not really a windscreen but it is just meant to cover some things on the front side for the steering so for this you have these two clips that hold the Phillips screw in place just place them in there and these came also with the hardware and we will need uh, two Phillips screws for this so basically all we have to do is just place it on here like so and now we come here to the other side super easy to do guys nothing too complicated just make sure that it snaps on correctly and we go I think we just got it right about there now these two Phillips screws they go here by where the uh, steering column is and boom that's it now we do the mirrors and perfect we got the mirrors done our next step here is that well since we have the air box loose is to install this cover and before we install this cover, make sure that your brakes feel nice and firm when you press them. If they don't, for any reason, you can always adjust this rear nut to make them be a little bit tighter. So for this, you simply press on the arm of the brakes and then twist this nut. And right about there, I think it feels just perfect. Yep, there we go. And now what we do is insert the cover like so 
now we insert this screw sometimes you have to keep trying until you get it right there we go just about there and this is a size 5 uh, Allen bolt so let's grab here my impact there we go that's perfect Alright, that's to protect the mechanical system here of the uh, brakes. Now you grab these two 10 millimeters. Let's see, this is my 10 millimeter socket. One of this, again, came included with your hardware bag. And now we will set the air box in place. There we go, we just got one in. Now we jump to the other side. Get the other one in. As per the trunk, it's quite easy to install. The hardware comes inside and it comes wrapped separately, so it makes it quite easy to know what uh, uh, the hardware is. And inside, we have five or four, excuse me, uh, Phillips screws, and they come with a nut as well. You also have a plastic spacer. You have to insert it on here. And then you get these brackets in which they mount uh, along with the screw. And finally you get a little nut, which is a 10 millimeter nut. Just make sure that it is leveled and super tight. Then after this, we have these little pins that go through here for the latch. Uh, or not the latch, these are the hinges, excuse me. You have this little pin in which you have to push through at the end I just put them on by hand they come out like this okay and all you have to do is put them through like so and then just tap them slightly so that they go in uh, completely and then after that all we have to worry about now is the locking mechanism and that's pretty much it for the trunk this is what the final outcome should be on the trunk so you have two little latches on the side now you undo here the key latch and you have this little retainer in which you must install with a Phillips screw. You have your latch and that's it. Make sure that you check the oil. Now they recommend here on this sticker by the side of the oil stick to use the bike for 300 miles and then replace this oil. I really don't like that method. I prefer to change the oil first and then at 300 miles change it again. And after that you have to change it every 1000 miles. We already connected the battery and we do have power going to the scooter. Again, to open the seat, you have to press on this button and then you lift on the seat. And this is where you add the gas. I believe it takes 1.5 gallons. Uh, I can't tell you exactly, but I think it's 1.5 gallons and with Octane 93. So we got this thing gas up, everything checked, everything looks good. Let's do the first startup ever. So we're gonna flick the switch here to the on position. Make sure that your kill switch is in the run position. And uh, I think you have to press the brakes. So you have to press the brakes and then at the same time, hit the start button. Here we go guys, start it right up. Super quiet. This thing is extremely quiet. But hey, it's running. I think we have the high beams on. Let's check out the headlights. That looks gorgeous. Give it a little rev. I can tell that everything is super tight. You have to break her in. So let's wait until tomorrow and continue. So first and foremost, to get us started, just put in your key, flick it to the right until you see the dashboard coming up. By the way, this is a cool looking digital dashboard. Uh, it just gives you here the uh, fuel level, which is again, what I had issue uh, with before. You have your speedometer, the time, 
and the RPMs and that's pretty much it of course you can select uh, different options you had trip A you had trip B then you had the battery voltage and then it goes back into the odometer we only have six miles on here to get it started you have to press the brake levers either or it doesn't really matter which one we're gonna do the left one which is your rear brake make sure that your kill switch is on the run position and now we get her started that easy guys now you can release let's warm it up for a little bit and it is recommended that you guys add uh, good quality fuel just so that things run a little better here we go guys again this is on factory oil still you might do a couple more miles and then that's about it it runs great it has a lot of power i'm 225 pounds and i was able to ride with my wife have some companion right there guys somebody else is riding also it's a beautiful day here to be riding bikes this thing has no problems keeping up the speedometer on this scooter is off by about five miles in total so if you're doing 50 according to the speedometer then in reality you're doing 45 so what I'm going to do here guys is just stay quiet, I'm going to go on for, for the ride, enjoy it, and I hope you guys do as well. This is just to show you the ability of this scooter, it can definitely keep up with traffic without any problems at all. is fast guys this thing I'm telling you this thing has speed we just did about 50 and it is not even broken in I would assume that this thing can do up to about 65 70 depending on your weight Should have worn a full face helmet. This helmet is uh, it's an open face helmet, and oh my god, my eyes are hurting right now.
think that this weather and the wind is not helping. Uh, something I do, uh, well, I did notice is that the ergonomics of the scooter, uh, well, it is a little rough with the wind, let's just put it that way. It tends to move from side to side, but again, it is a very windy day today, so let's continue here, guys. That is it for today's unboxing, assembly, and semi-review here of the Vitashi Clash 200. Great little EFI scooter. I'm telling you, this thing is amazing. And it is currently running. Super quiet scooter. The only complaint that I have about it was the fuel pump that had the float was stuck into a fuel pump component because they're both the same piece. So the fuel pump and the float are all one piece guys i love the headlights on it super modern looking scooter as you can tell it has the high beams here and the regular beams towards the bottom and then your turn signals are up here let me show you real quick so that's your turn signal i love this design plenty of speed with this particular model, I was able to take it up to 55 miles an hour and it is not broken in. The trunk can be coming handy. It was growing into me. I'm not a fan of trunks, but this one is okay as it doesn't really ruin the design of the scooter. And keep in mind, you can always take it off. As per the mirrors, I wish they were a little bit wider. I can see my shoulders all the time. I tried to adjust them, but they don't really adjust but what i do like about them is that as you're riding they are quite stable i like here the uh, digital speedometer it looks quite okay very clear very bright in the daylight time as well 
Uh, keep in mind that right here, guys, it has an ignition lock. So it is on the key itself right here. You can put it on the lock position and that's like an anti-theft device. Also, I like how the seat opens. Plenty of space in here as well. We already saw that from the assembly. And overall, guys, it is a nice scooter to learn. And if you don't want to be shifting around, it gives you plenty of speed for an automatic. Let me know down below what you guys think. Don't forget to comment, share, subscribe, and click on the bell icon so that you don't miss future videos like this. And I'll see you on my next one.